so how are you friends in today's class we are going to start your previous example that i have given that it was the two propyl heptane you remember this name but uh, you can't write this two propyl heptane because it was given error so how we will reform this error so let's check it here how we will reform this error there was error in two propyl heptane my dear friends so how we will reform this error let first of all draw that structure heptane means uh, seven carbon so let's put the seven carbon one two three four five six seven clear so this is a heptane and on let's give the numbering one two three four five six seven on a second carbon there is a propyl group on second carbon there is a propyl group so let's show the three carbon that so one two three so that propyl group is attached on the second carbon so this name was given and i says that there is error and how to reform this error too many students respond in a whatsapp group but here i'm going to reform this error the first error was the first rule is not obeyed here we have not select the longest carbon chain here the longest carbon chain will be a uh, that green to the seven one two three four five six seven eight nine that is your longest carbon chain that is that contain the seven carbon here i'm going to show you that in a uh, green lines is it clear so this is uh, your longest carbon chain so you can check one thing that on fourth carbon there is a one methyl group we have discussed this thing in a previous lecture clear you remember that if you don't remember then please revise that this is a non n there is no double bond so we will only use a n e non stand for the nine carbon and on the fourth carbon there is a methyl group one carbon meth and it's attached so we will use yl so four methyl non n is a correct name how many students write that correct name if you one of them then congratulations you are right and if you are not getting then please rewind this video and check it again what is happening you have to select the longest carbon chain that is the very first rule that you have to remember clear so you can't write to propyl heptane but you have to write four methyl non n how to write the four methyl non n is it clear okay very good so now let's start the more example now we will solve the example of branch chain alkane here i'm going to draw one alkane and uh, on one carbon let me show you that more complex structure now you have to select the longest carbon chain that is the first possibility that you can check second possibility that uh, you uh, already seen right and the third possibility first of all identify the longest carbon chain so check the pointer from where it moves one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Clear. This is known as the longest carbon chain. You can check. Try to make it by your own, and then after check it in a video. Clear. So that is a decan. D C stand for the ten carbon. A N E for the all are single bonds. And on one, two, three, four, five. On fifth, there is a two carbon on each corner. See, so check the pointer yeah? on this. so this is a ethyl ethyl decan so 1 2 3 4 5 on fifth carbon on fifth carbon there is a one ethyl group let give the numbering 4 5 so on fifth carbon you can check it's a ethyl what i say i say is that on corner there is one carbon or at the end point there is one carbon let me make the copy and paste and let make it a more complex structure now i'm going to attach one more ethyl group so that will look more complex and let we will give the name of this compound so let's start here i'm going to give one more ethyl group see 
I attach one more ethyl group. I'm not going to change that my longest carbon chain. That is itself decane. Decane is my longest carbon chain. And on fifth carbon there is ethyl and now on a sixth carbon there is again ethyl. So how we will write? How we will write? See check it. On fifth carbon there is ethyl and on a sixth carbon too there is ethyl. So that is a very good 5 comma 6 because numbers are separated by comma hyphen di because 2 ethyl diethyl decan diethyl decan. This is the name of the given compound. See how is it easy clear. Now the next one let's make it more complex. See for why we are using the diverse this group check that particular circle in a pink that is known as ethyl group my dear friends let copy it and paste it again I'm going to make the more complex structure now from the given one so copy and paste is done now you are you don't have that kind of facility in your notebook so you have to draw all the structures and you are preparing well I'm very happy now my dear friends we are going to attach something different something more complex with this longest carbon chain and uh, let's check it yes here i'm going to attach uh, something like uh, one two and three means uh, isopropyl group that pink y you can check in a figure that is a isopropyl group It's very clear that on a fifth there is ethyl, on sixth there is ethyl, on fifth and sixth there is ethyl, and on sixth one more thing is there. See, check the pointer, check the pointer. This is a three carbon, first at the initial, second at the corner, third at a ending point. So, three carbons, and so this group, this group is particularly known as an isopropyl group. Check my previous video, you will understand this, what is isopropyl. We learn this thing. Or you can also write that is a sac propyls or secondary propyl because this carbon, that particular carbon is attached with the two carbon. Don't consider the longest chain carbon. Clear right now that is not your topic. You have to remember that this kind of structure is known as a sac propyl or a isopropyl or a isopropyl group clear I understand my dear friends these are little bit tough but you will understand more better don't worry so see check it this group is a isobutyl you will have a question sir uh, in that previous usage that is isopropyl see right now consider the carbon yeah now this green shows the attachment attachment is shown by the green while here the attachment is shown in a pink now this is a isopentyl 1 2 3 4 5 isopentyl group previous is isobutyl group now let me show you isopropyl this is isopropyl group here that dotted line is shown in a figure in a particular compound with the dark pink line clear so first is isopropyl second is isobutyl third is a isopentyl so here on a sixth carbon that is a isopropyl or the sac propyl sometime it is also named as a different one that we are going to check in a later on but uh, first of all you understand what is isopropyl please make a hashtag note now you can consider this two what I am going to show that in a pink that two are the ethyl yes correct and on a first carbon on the beginning oh, yes that green is a methyl so one methyl ethyl but this one methyl and ethyl is attached at which carbon very good it is attached at a sixth carbon so one methyl and ethyl is attached at a sixth carbon at a sixth carbon so six one methyl ethyl six one methyl ethyl that also can be used instead of isopropyl or the sec propyl clear now we are going to use the name we are going to make the name and check it how i am going to make the name six isopropyl or six sac propyl or six one methyl ethyl also can be written clear see check it again 
on a fifth carbon there is a ethyl group on sixth carbon there is a ethyl group longest carbon chain is a decan on a sixth carbon there is isopropyl or you can uh, named as a sec propyl or one methyl ethyl two so how we are going to write the name please check it 5,6 di ethyl e came first in alphabet while i from the iso i is considered but i came later from the e clear so 5,6 di ethyl 5,6 di ethyl 6 isopropyl or sec propyl 6 isopropyl or sec propyl isopropyl decan isopropyl decan or you can also write 56 see do you understand this name 56 on that two carbons diethyl group on 6 isopropyl group and the longest carbon chain is decan so 56 diethyl 6 isopropyl decan now let me make the copy paste and uh, we can also write instead of 6 isopropyl we can write on a 6 carbon 1 methyl ethyl decan 1 methyl ethyl decan so i'm sure you understand this video thank you don't forget to like and share and comment thank you my dear friends bye and one more thing that i forget to tell my dear friends uh, Please make a note on regular basis. We are just solving two or three examples per day, but they all are the very, very extraordinary examples. Please make a note on that. And you can also solve by the complete structure too. If possible, please make a complete structure note and send me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.